Hi guys, Dane and Biggie here, and uh, today is another weekly reading vlog, isn't it? It's currently Sunday the 19th of September, and me and Biggie are just chilling. We're watching It Part 2, so we're going to go and do some of that, aren't we? Yes. Come on then. Dane reads... Oh, blurry, blurry, blue. Hello, everybody. It is Monday the 20th of September. No more house news. Um, oh, it's 10, 10, 11, 10, 11 50 p.m. God, I cocked that up, didn't I? It's 10 to 12, 10 to midnight. Um, yeah, with the house, uh, I heard from um, my um, mortgage brokers today. They wanted me to reach out to the estate agents to get them to give the uh, seller's lawyers a push. But it's like, we've already, we're all pushing him. He knows what he has to do. He has to send us this letter. And instead, we're waiting to hear back from the land registry. I actually called the land registry today and they were like, oh yeah, no, we weren't aware it was in, in a rush or any priority. So they've been able to move up the priority, but they still say that won't be done until next week, which would mean I wouldn't be able to move until the week after, which is the week I have to be out here. I have to be out here on that Thursday. So we're pushing it very, very fine, but I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, in the meantime, I have been doing a lot of cleaning and repainting. Uh, the kitchen, I still need to do some more painting in there. Got to paint the bathroom as well and the living room and the all the other rooms in fact um, but I have cleaned most of the bathroom as well so I just need to clean the shower in there clean the floors um, and then things like need to clean the fridge need to clean the microwave need to clean the oven uh, there's a cupboard under the sink that really badly needs cleaning which I'm terrified to even go to I need to clean the uh, freezer because that's going with me but it's got like water in it from where I defrosted it and all that crap Oh, there's so much to do and so little time to do it and then I still don't even know what I'm going to do. It's getting to the point now, even if I get a moving date, I might struggle to get a van hire in time, you know? So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Books-wise, I'm still reading Rising Sun by Michael Crichton. It's pretty good. Came out in the early 90s. It's a little bit dated at times, but, you know, so what? It's like the references to technology and stuff. And I'm currently watching Congo, which is the uh, movie of the Michael Crichton book that I read uh, not too long ago. Um, I've heard the movie's terrible, so I don't know, I'm only like five, ten minutes in. Um, I can imagine it will be terrible because I think a lot of the stuff in the storyline, you could do it now with today's like digital tech and stuff, but I think when this movie came out they would have struggled to do the special effects and stuff, so we will see. I did a COVID-19 self-test earlier to uh, see whether I have the dreaded plague. I do not, um, and neither does my friend Dave, but somebody we were with on Saturday night does have it. Uh, he's also the bassist in our band. Uh, and he's like late 60s, I think, so hopefully he's all right. I mean, he is at least double jabbed, so it should at least lessen the severity of it. And uh, yeah, other than that, just cracking on with work. Had my counseling earlier, that went well. Just been recording some radio show episodes because I have a backlog of those to record because I've got a bunch of uh, interviews lined up. So cracking on with all of those, just seeing seeing what I can do really, cracking on with cracking on. And uh, as I say, still doing some houseworky bits too. So that's my plan. Sitting here chilling with a biggie boy, aren't I? Yeah, we're watching Squid Game, aren't we biggie, on Netflix? Yes, and you can see I have been painting the house before I move out. That's the door, you can see what it used to look like and then you know, mostly done. Bookshelf needs painting still. Mostly did a good job. So uh, the green screen is gone. I had to take that down. Um, but I've been planning that anyway. Basically, the oh, hello. The plan was to use the green screen until I got the new place and then I can have like, uh, make myself a better backdrop to film against. So um, that's gonna happen soon because it's currently, well, it's Sunday the 26th of September. Uh, it's 22, 24 p.m. And I should be moving on Wednesday, so don't have long left to go till our new house, Biggie. So uh, I'm probably going to go back to filming my vlogs like this, just handheld style. And then hopefully I'll have a nice new backdrop in my studio to film from. Um, so what is new? I can't remember the last time I filmed. Oh yeah, the curtains are down from the window. Um, the living room's pretty much empty at the moment, so I'm at the process now where because I've finished filming stuff in the living room, uh, sorry, because I've finished cleaning and painting all the living room, done all the kitchen as well, I've got a few bits left to do. I have the door and a bit in the porch to do. I have under the kitchen sink to do. I have that bookcase and Biggie's old cat cupboard to do as well. But other than that, everything's done and I've already like um, um, cleaned the oven and cleaned the fridge and all that stuff. 
So then that just leaves my little tiny hallway in the bedroom to do. Biggie, you've got a big old knot in your fur at the back of his legs where he can't reach. We're going to need to do something about that, mate. I'm going to have to get him a new, new brush. Um... So yeah, there used to be a bookcase in the corner, that's now there, and that bookcase is where I'm stacking all of the stuff that's basically when I get the keys on Wednesday, uh, my friend Dave is going to help me to move. So that's where I'm stacking all of the stuff that needs to go on the Wednesday, um, which to be fair, half of it's biggies, like his new litter tray and a bag of litter needs to go. Um, and then it's got my TV, uh, record player and some vinyl so that if I, because I don't know if I'm going to have internet. So um, that'll give me something, some way of listening to music, you know, um, so at least I can do that if I don't have internet. So uh, yeah, so the current thing is, apart from those bits of painting, I'm then starting to move everything through here, ready for it to go into the moving van, which is booked next Friday. Um, but also the goal is to basically move all that crap out of the bedroom so that I can then paint the bedroom. My mum's coming along, Biggie, he's walking across the keyboard. Um, my mum's coming along next weekend to help me do some last cleaning bits here and to settle into the new place and she's bringing a load of stuff so that should be good. So yeah, it's all go, I'm finally getting this new fucking house after six months. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Reading wise, I read Next by Michael Crichton which I guess was one of the ones that he wrote towards the end of his life. Um, I think it was like 2008 and it had some like genetics editing stuff in it, it was just pretty good. Um, and now I'm starting to read Sphere by Michael Crichton which is Aliens. We're going to see if there's um, another talking primate in this because that seems to be a recurring theme for Michael Crichton. <laughs> yeah, other, other than that, for the rest of the rest of the, basically since I last updated you I've just been being productive and painting the living room, you know. Um, but that's again mostly done now. On Friday night I went to a gig so I went to see my friend Maz Manzini play at the Arts Centre for his album launch so that was very cool. Um, it was like obviously my home venue I guess and then a guy I really like his music and so it was good to see him playing there and I was unofficial photographer because no one else showed up so I took a bunch of photos. Um, and then Saturday we had Comedy Club uh, it wasn't too busy to be honest, there were only about 40, 50 odd people and we could have had like 150. Um, but the comedy was funny, we had a few sound issues but I think it went well well overall. So we're going to be doing that again in November with some other comedians. Uh, and then today we had the Sunday Jam, so I took my acoustic guitar along, ex you know, expecting to play with Dave. And in the end I did play with Dave but our bassist didn't come and there was only one bassist there so I ended up shifting over and playing bass with Dave. So I did... We did two of Dave's songs, uh, Vampire Song and Open Mic Song. Um, then we did Jean Genie by David Bowie. And then we did Johnny Be Good because somebody wanted to sing it. So Dave played the lead guitar and I did bass and we had a drummer. Um, and then there's somebody new called Sabrina who's been coming along to, she came to the last um, open mic and um, I played some tunes with her there. And so I played bass for her this week and we did Feeling Good, uh, which was like a kind of hybrid of Muse and Nina Simone, I guess. We did... What were the other ones we did? Oh, we did um, uh, Zombie by the Cranberries. And then we did Creep by Radiohead. So that was fun. Um, and it was nice not to work the bar as well. So now I'm just back home being productive. As I say, I'm watching Squid Game. I'm reading Sphere. And uh, my sleep pattern, I'm kind of nocturnal at the moment. So my job for tonight before I go to bed is I want to do those bits of painting, so um, yeah, we'll see how I get on with those. Uh, it would be good if I can do those, because then that just leaves the hallway and the bedroom left to paint, and two days in which to do that, which is doable. Although I've ran out of paint, I've got, I've got, I've ran out of cream paint anyway. I've got the white paint, which is fine. I can use that for some bits, but I, I don't have enough to do the walls. Um, yeah, and the carpets are screwed. The guy's gonna have to replace the carpets. I mean, to be fair, the walls aren't great. There's still some stains and stuff on them, but it's it's definitely better than it was. And yeah, I'll take better care of the new place because it'll be my place. Uh, oh, also, yeah, I hit my year without drinking. So uh, at about 5 a.m. this morning would have been more, my one year anniversary. But I'm now waiting until I move into the new house and I'll just have some Prosecco while I'm there. So that's the plan. Isn't it, Biggie? Yes. Yes, we're getting rid of this sofa. It's fucked, isn't it, Biggie? I'm gonna get a new sofa. Oh, yeah, you come and say hello. He's come and say hello. 
Hello everybody, it is 3.20pm on Monday the 27th of September so theoretically in 48 hours I should be in the new place but I don't know if that's going to happen now because the lawyers are all sitting on their asses waiting for the seller to get back to them and I don't think he even knows that they've messaged him because their emails keep going into spam and he's an old guy so he doesn't he needs somebody to phone him basically so I've just left an answer, a message on his voicemail and uh, we'll see if he gets back to that. Hopefully he does that today because I still need to send over my money from my part of the deposit and then we need to get all the contracts finalized and stuff. But to be honest, I'm probably, if I get to speak to him today, I'm probably just gonna say like, look, even if the sale doesn't go through, can I still move in on Wednesday? Because I've got this van booked for Friday and I basically I'd lose my deposit on the van if it didn't happen, but also they're like booked up so it would mean I probably wouldn't be able to get another van booked until after I have to move out of this place. So it's just a fucking nightmare, mate. Um, doing some work and stuff. I'm still reading Sphere by Michael Crichton. Uh, it's all right. Um, a bit slow, to be honest. And also, I'm just not that interested in the subject matter. So basically, this uh, spaceship has gone down under the ocean and these people have gone to investigate. Um, and they're not sure whether it might be like a time travel thing sent by humans from the future or whether it's aliens or whatever it is But I don't really care And at the moment they can't get into it and they're like, oh, we might never be able to get into it And I'm, I'm like great. There's gonna be 300 pages of them failing to get into this thing Anyway, uh, I've been also moving some of my stuff around So that's the pile we have now uh, over in my doorway that represents probably less than a quarter of what I have to move. Um, so yeah, I've been taking some s stuff out and putting that outside, ready to go to the dump. Uh, went to the shop today and got a bunch of tinned food because I'm basically going to be living on tinned food that I can microwave for the next two, three days. Um, I got the rest of my paint arrived as well, so I can now paint the other bits that I need to do, which is good. So I will probably do that later on this evening. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I finished watching Squid Game on Netflix. Very good, would recommend. It's like Battle Royale and, and Hunger Games, basically, except um, South Korean. So yeah, it was very good, would recommend. And I'm just gonna crack on with that. Oh, and I got a bunch of James Herbert books, look. I got these in the post today. And uh, I was chatting to Sabrina, who's the new girl who came to our open mic night at the art center and she's been reading James Herbert as well she's been reading the rats um, and she's got a few others so we've made a deal where like we're gonna swap James Herbert books once we read them basically um, and so I've got the survivor there which I've already read so I'm gonna give that to her and then she can have some of these other ones once I've read those it's kind of annoying because I'd, I'd finally with that last Michael Crichton book I read that took me down to 19 books on my TBR and now this is gonna put me back up to 24 I guess one two no How many are there? There's one two three four five. Yeah 24 because one of them's two books in one But um, I mean it could be worse because also I'm running out of stuff that I actually want to read So I've also got something happened by Joseph Heller, which I read an excerpt of and did enjoy so I might get to that soon Oh God, I'm tired. Oh, and I actually slept okay last night though I went to bed at like midnight and woke up at 10 a.m. Because tiredness so yeah Hello, Dane here. Biggie is there. Um, we are currently watching Dunkirk because we're preparing for our evacuation, aren't we, Biggie? Um, today has been very stressful because I got the info through from my lawyers uh, to send the money over for to pay for my deposit and to pay their legal fees, and it was like forty thousand pounds which in dollars is like $55,000. It's the most I've ever spent on anything. Um, but that all went out and I paid all of that today. So that was good. But um, yeah, because it was over like the limit, I couldn't do it through mobile banking. So I went into the bank and they were like, well, we could do it, but um, th their fax machine wasn't working. Um, and then the nearest bank is in another town. I would have had to have got a taxi there and paid for that and then they needed two forms of ID and I only have one because the rest of my ID is all packed. Uh, so in the end I had to figure out how to send a fax online which I managed to do so that was good. So um, yeah I finally managed to send this fax and the money has now left my account so hopefully it will go to the seller's account soon. Um, yeah well the idea is it should be in the, my lawyer's account tomorrow morning 
and then she sends it to the seller's lawyers and once the seller's lawyers have received and confirmed receipt we can then do the handover um, so theoretically I'm supposed to be meeting the seller at about 1 p.m. tomorrow um, I think I need to be up from 9 a.m. just to make sure because I think my lawyer needs to ring me to get my approval to do the sale even though you would think all of the forms I've signed and the money I've sent them would be enough approval but anyway so we'll do that and then hopefully tomorrow I'm going to meet the seller to pick up the keys then Dave Uncle Dave your Uncle Dave Biggie's gonna drive us to the new house and Biggie's gonna hate that because Dave scares him my friend Dave who I'm in the band with your Uncle Dave Biggie um, he he comes and looks after Biggie when I'm not here so he comes in and cleans up your poop and gives you more food doesn't he Biggie and he's basically never met Biggie because he always hides from him he hides under the bed um, which is fair enough because I don't think Dave's ever been here while I've been here so Biggie doesn't like doesn't know him because once you get to know people you're all right aren't you Biggie but he also hates being in cars so the fact that Dave is going to be driving us to the new place Biggie's going to hate luckily it's only like a mile away so it's not a big long drive it only take five minutes um, but he hyperventilates when he's in the car bless him so um, yeah he'll be worried about that aren't we Biggie but it'll be okay so I'll also show Dave around my place. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have my Prosecco, hopefully. Gonna get some Prosecco and have a bit of that to celebrate being in the new house, um, which will be my first alcoholic drink for slightly over a year, so that's very good. And yeah, just still packing and stuff. All of that stuff over there in that corner, that collapsed overnight, so yeah. This morning I had to sort all that out but I have finished or almost finished painting there's a bit in the hallway just there under the stairs and I painted that enough that I can use that as like a storage place um, and so uh, yeah that's helped because I've been able to move some boxes in there so I'm probably just going to try and finish painting that tonight and also finish painting the door frame um, and then just painting the bedroom we'll have to wait till after I've moved all my stuff I guess um, unless I might be able to come back and do it tomorrow because tomorrow um, well, I've got an Asda shop coming tomorrow. Uh, sorry, Thursday, I'm thinking. So tomorrow is Wednesday and I move in. And then on the Thursday, I've got an Asda shop, which Asda is like Walmart. Um, so I'm getting my groceries delivered so that I'll have that in the new place. Um, so I've got that and I'm probably going to go into town too. There is a, a charity shop which also does furniture. So I'm going to go in and spend like 200 quid on furniture, get a sofa because I'm not taking this one. This one's get, going away. Um, maybe some bookcases if they've got some and a few other bits because they'll all deliver them as well you see so I'm gonna go there on the Thursday and then Friday at 10 a.m. I've got the man with the van coming to move all of the stuff from here and to take the bits to the dump so yeah we've got a pretty good plan and then my mum's coming on I think Sunday um, to help clear this clean out this place ready to hand out over and I think she's gonna do a little bit of cleaning at the new place as well bless her so maybe she'll do some cleaning while I do some unpacking or something so yeah, because of that, I'm not really going to any events this week or this weekend. I'm just focusing on the house. Um, but also because I spent that £40,000 on a house, I'm now in my overdraft. I do get paid tomorrow, which will take me just back out of my overdraft again. Um, but yeah, and I also, I mean, I borrowed £10,000 from my dad, so I need to start paying that. Uh, £100 a month I'm going to pay him um, until I can pay him off. And I've got a big tax bill coming in January that I have to pay as well. So basically, even though I'm going to be moving and my rent's going to be lower, I'm still not going to have any money. So there's all that. Reading-wise, I'm still reading Sphere by uh, Michael Crichton. It's still just, eh, it's all right. Uh, I'm probably going to read Something Happened by Joseph Heller next, which I read, I read the beginning of uh, that when um, I had like an excerpt from it as part of the Penguin Mini Moderns box set that I got. Um, and I enjoyed the excerpt enough that I wanted to read Something Happened. And actually I haven't read Catch-22 yet and I do own that too. So I'll read that soon at some point. Um, and yeah, over here in this corner, that's the stuff that I'm going to take with me to the new place when Dave gives us this lift. We're just going to fit as much as we can in the back of his car. I basically mostly want to make sure I've got a record player and some records, my computer, my guitar. That's probably all I need. Oh, things like Biggie's litter tray and his litter. So I don't know how much we're going to be able to take. Um, we'll just see how much I can get in the back of Dave's car, I guess. But also I have my camping rucksack over there and a big suitcase. Now they're both pretty much full of books and various random things at the moment. But I think I'm going to take those with me when I meet the landlord or the seller at the property. 
and then basically I can empty those out and then if I do need to come back here um, you know by myself as opposed to being in the car with Dave um, then I can uh, fill those up and take those back as well and just walk across town with them so that's the plan anyway it's stressful but exciting and so this time tomorrow I should be in my new house and I probably won't have internet so see how that goes maybe I can knock on the door of the people upstairs and be like can I can I pinch your Wi-Fi please maybe they've got unsecured Wi-Fi you never know also I'm pretty sure when I moved into this place I brought my router from my old house and just plugged it into the phone line here and it worked but it was something to do with because when you have your broadband or whatever you're signed into a contract and so I think it continued it was like the other people's broadband that they'd finished paying for and they'd moved out of but they you know it was still being sent down the line and then my router picked it up I think anyway I don't know we'll see we'll see when we get there hello it is um, 25 to 12 on Thursday the 30th of September I'm in the new house I've finally got my keys so I'm sitting at my desk at the moment this here is pretty much the backdrop you're gonna see when I film um, I'll give you a quick old tour because it's kind of tidy at the moment um, books wise I've just been reading something happened by Joseph Heller very good on, on course to be one of my books of the year uh, which is very exciting um, and uh, yes other than that that well let's see so um, yeah like tu Monday Tuesday I was busy sorting out my finances and all of that sort of stuff um, so I finally I had to send a fax um, which isn't very 2021 so I had to find an online company that could you know provide fax services or whatever so I could send the instruction to my bank to send the money to the solicitors um, but yeah they did that and then that all got finalized and all sent over so uh, Wednesday morning by about noon we had the confirmation all was good to go met the seller picked up my keys um, I brought a suitcase and a rucksack full of stuff with me here and then um, yeah then my friend Dave came over uh, I showed him around here then we drove back to my old house and we loaded up the car and brought Biggie over I haven't filmed for a couple of days because he's been very stressed but I think he's getting there now it just took him a while to settle in and stuff here he is here he is I was talking about you yeah so he's got lots of new places to explore uh, I went to the vets today and got a fell away plug in which is like um, it's like rescue remedy for cats basically uh, and he seems to be doing well with that so we've got one of those in the bedroom haven't we Biggs and I've bought another one and when that comes I'm gonna put it probably in the kitchen or in the living room downstairs um, so yeah uh, so Dave brought a load of stuff over with that as well um, and then today I went back to the place um, to get everything ready for the moving van and also because I had my counselling so at the moment I have no internet here that's getting sorted out a week tomorrow and it will be a lot better than the internet at my old place as well um, but in the meantime I'm just using my phone as like a connection point or whatever so I can use the internet it's just super slow um, but it's enough still for me to watch videos and stuff uh, so yeah there's that and then yeah tomorrow I was supposed to be having this van in the morning um, but there's a fuel crisis here in the UK uh, the media will tell you that we're running out of petrol but it's not that we don't have any drivers because we left the EU and a lot of the drivers weren't British nationals so that's the situation so because of that the guy I'd hired to, to move me with the, all of my stuff he's not available a different guy is available um, but he's gonna be in the afternoon instead of the morning and I also have some furniture coming in the afternoon so that's going to be interesting I don't know how we're gonna go about doing that um, we'll see yeah we'll have a think about it and we'll, we'll see um, I also need to take some stuff to the dump as well so I don't know we'll see how it all goes so I'm meeting him at 2 p.m. tomorrow getting that stuff delivered as well so that's where we're at um, I've just been doing a bit of work as well because you know it never stops but let's let's give you the tour Shall we? Should we give him the tour, Biggie? Yes, he's just sitting on the floor. So this is a pile of washing. Because at my old place I didn't have a washing machine. Or I did, but it didn't work. So now I have a washing machine. So this in here, this is my office. And it looks out into the back garden. I guess I'll show you that another time because it's too dark. I've got my little sofa there. Little table. 
This here is my PC, and then the MacBook is gonna go over there. I'm, I've also got a third computer that's gonna go down in the living room. Uh, guitar there. Eventually I'm gonna have, some of my guitars are gonna be wall mounted around here. Um, like on these walls, I think. So I've got some hooks for that. We've got this little thing up here. Um, this is my parcel wrapping station in here. I like meds and stuff down there. That bottom bit has got uh, all my cables in. So at the moment, Biggie's bowl is in here, isn't it, Biggie? Because he's uh, he's been a bit stressed. So his bowl and his litter tray and he's made a mess are in here in the bedroom. And that's down there. That's the thing he used to lie on. So that's just so he's got somewhere nice to chill out. But yeah, this is the bedroom. I mean, obviously, like, those curtains are horrible. I'm going to get some new curtains and various other bits and bobs. Um, but that can wait. So, yeah, so this is the upstairs. And we go down here, down the, what I call, the stairs of doom. These are some jeans just drying. Gotta put another wash on. You didn't even start, mate. There we go. That'll start it. So that's my front door there. These curtains come across here, just to keep the temperature nice and stuff. So we've got a big old kitchen sink, that's a gas oven. All that stuff around there. Over here, fridge and freezer, another side. So I've got a lot of storage space in here. Um, and even potentially room, depending on what I do. Like, there's, I might be able to get a little tabletop dishwasher there, for example, I've been thinking. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, and then this corner down here under the stairs, that's going to be where Biggie's bowl and litter tray are normally. Isn't it, Pigs? Yeah, is that where your litter tray is going to be? Yeah? So little Mr. Manny was hiding in the living room for quite a long time when we first moved in. But he's finally become brave enough to explore, haven't you, Biggs? So, uh, yeah, this is the kitchen. Then this takes you into the living room, which is empty at the moment, because when all my boxes and stuff come tomorrow, this is where they're all gonna go. So I'm gonna have my TV that's currently just down there. That'll be on its stand over there. And then we'll have a sofa in that corner there. And, you know, bookcase that wall. Bookcase that wall, I'm sure. Um, but this is also going to be like my little anxiety hub, so when my anxiety gets bad, I'll... And also just in the evenings when I'm chilling, I'll, I'll come down here on my laptop. Well, actually, no, I won't need my laptop because I'm going to have another computer in here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll see how that works. I'm trying to just think now what we've got. I'm sure we can fit some stuff in here, yeah. So that's all going to come and get delivered tomorrow. And then this in here is the bathroom. Biggie's box over there. Needs rinsing out because I think he weed in it on his way here. But yeah. So that's that's the house, and then there's the back garden as well. And those clothes are there because I'm going to go for a shower in a minute. And yeah, various bits and bobs, TV bits, speakers for the other computer when it gets here. I think I actually need a new monitor as well. So yeah. All right, Biggs, I'm going back upstairs. You come in. You come in or you stay in? I can see you down there. I can see you, Biggie boy. Yes, I know. He might have stayed down there for a bit because he's realized there are some dreamies on the floor. Hello, it is um, 11, 10 p.m. on Sunday, the uh, 3rd of October. I am still unpacking. That box in the background is the only one I've got up here, so that's good. I've got a bunch of stuff on the floor in the bedroom, though. Like, uh, lights that need to go up and things like that. Biggie's down there, aren't you, Biggs? How you doing? Yeah, you good? Yeah, you're good. He's been meowing quite a bit, but we're getting there, you know? Um, I've literally just this second finished reading Something Happened by uh, Joseph Heller. It was a five out of five. Very good. Possibly one of my books of the year. Um, and next up, I'm going to read The Dark by James Herbert. Um, I'm going to give you an updated little mini tour of the house next week. Um, and then once I'm fully settled in, I'll probably do a full video of it as well. But I'll give you another walk around in, in next week's vlog. 
Um, but yes, um, it's getting there. Um, my mum came down today. So this morning, well I've been at the house earlier this week, the old house, doing some more painting and stuff. And I finally finished the painting today and my mum cleaned the bathroom and half the kitchen. So tomorrow we're going to go back again. She's going to finish doing her bits in the kitchen, the living room and the bedroom and the porch. Um, I've got to do the hoovering and then I'm going to try and tackle the garden a bit as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We're going to do a run to the dump as well to take a load of this old wood that I've got from old bookcases. The garden here is just full of boxes, like literally just piled high uh, to the point you can't see out of my kitchen window at the moment because there are boxes in front of it. So they all need like slowly flattening and going out in the bins, which I'm going to do, you know, over the next few weeks. My bins get collected every two weeks, but there are two bins, so I can get quite a lot in them. So um, slowly but surely, I'm going to work, work my way through all of that. Um, most of my books are unpacked. I, I don't have enough bookcases. I thought this might be a problem. Um, I'm starting to see just how large the problem is. So at the moment I've got like books piled on top of the bookcases as well and I'm running out of space there even and still have like seven boxes of books. So I don't know. Luckily my eBay store is now relaunched as well. Uh, I guess I'll link to that below. If you want to help me out, buy some books so that I can post them and make some space for more books. Um, so yeah, um, I've got my vinyl up there, Look, very cool. So um, yeah, booktube sign in the background. I've ordered a little mini tripod because I don't need the full tripod. So I've got a tripod, it'll probably go about here. And then you'll sort of, this will be kind of the angle I'll be at. Um, yeah, so um, I can do some more videos. I've got a bunch to film. I've set up my MacBook now as well, so I've been editing. I've edited next week's radio show, which is good, because that needs to go out on Tuesday and buys me a bit of time. Um, I've got a new monitor coming as well um, for the MacBook. So at the moment, I've got two screens on my main desk, but one is the Mac, one is the PC. Eventually it'll be two for the PC, Mac there, another computer downstairs, and the TV's downstairs as well. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, and then I'll probably have my Mac on and like I'll be watching stuff on the TV while working, I guess. I don't know, we will see. So yes, um, I don't think I have too much more to update you on, so I'm going to love you and leave you for this week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching this week's reading vlog. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.